My name is Yusra Kadir, and I'm the Vice President of Programs and Policy at the Mothers Matter Center. The world is young and it's getting younger as the percentage of youth in the world is on the rise. And to make sure that young people are able to realize their fullest potential, we need to ensure that the support system and the services available to them are holistic and intersectional. At the Mothers Matter Center, through our home instruction for parents of preschool youngsters program, we support various refugee, newcomer, and indigenous mothers and the support is targeted towards them so that they have the confidence capacity and skills to realize their full potential as well as play an active and critical role in the life of their child so that they're able to be the first and best teacher and advocate for their child young mothers especially single mothers often have various barriers that isolate them that render them vulnerable and which are even difficult to remove if you're living on low income and you have to remove them while you take on child bearing child rearing responsibilities along with the unpaid care work and the burden associated with it that comes to you our program meet mothers where they are at in the home through home visitation we build a bond between mothers it's a mother to mother peer based approach we have a young mother, Mahbube, who'd like to share her journey and her experience of being part of the hippie program with all of you. My name is Mahbube. I immigrated in Canada three and a half years ago with my family, my husband and my you know, little one. I had a boy in that year. He was in two and a half. Uh, after immigration, I suffered and faced a lot of struggle culturally, financially, language barrier, a lot of that, because uh, I couldn't speak in uh, even one sentence in English. And it was uh, exactly the start of the um, uh, COVID-19. And uh, we really were, uh, were isolated. Uh, everywhere was closed. Nobody wants to talk. That time I tried to learn English. Uh, I participate in everywhere online to improve my English and uh, we really um, uh, had a problem in every kind of um, part of life. I saw a flyer in Telegram. It was about the hippie program uh, from uh, ISS. I, I said, okay, it's a really great chance to me to know more people, to something, to learn something. Um, it's good for my kid, my son, because I couldn't register him in daycare or somewhere else. And um, I registered I for hippie year one and year two. For in two years, I was in a hippie program. Uh, through that, I um, started to uh, learning English with my home visitor. Uh, she she could speak Farsi. We most of the time speak Farsi because I couldn't understand English anything. But uh, she, beside the uh, hippie program, Kari Columns, <laughs> teach me English as well. Uh, started reading and uh, try to speaking. And uh, it was a really great chance for my son because I I, I received every material. And uh, we, uh, with my son, we study the, um, reading the books and uh about movement, science, different part of the curriculum. It was really, really great opportunity for me and for my son. Fortunately, I had a ch chance to uh, do some volunteer in different organization because I really need the information. And um, always I thought I, I, I went to um, have a chance to deliver whatever I, I learned and uh, my experience with the other mom, especially immigrant, especially single moms. After two, uh, three years, uh, my home visitor, one day she called me and, then, and said, uh, there's a um, hippie program in YWCA. They need a home visitor. Uh, you have this experience. Uh, do you want to apply for the job? I said, yes, for sure. And now, uh, I can't uh, help moms and uh, I didn't support them. Fortunately, I have a great um, network with different places, so I can offer the moms all of those they needed. So um, it's really appreciated for me to to finding this job because I said in the first year, I, I said to my home visitor, I love, I, I want to be a home visitor like you. She said, why not? Maybe, maybe one day you can do it. And now I, I'm in this position, I have this position and I'm really thankful for that.